hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Candace in Color. And today's episode is brought to you by gold. Gold is probably my favorite one of my favorite colors in life and it's definitely my favorite color when it comes to makeup like I love gold on my eyes I love gold on my face like gold is where it is about a year two years ago yeah maybe two years almost three years ago I decided to switch all of my jewelry to gold um I used to only wear silver like with my piercings and different things and I realized how good gold looked on brown skin given that newbie and queen vibe okay and I just love gold um so this is probably my favorite color to talk about in the series um gold comes comes in a lot of different you know tones and different things um uh, and I love them all. I really do. So <laughs> these are my favorite gold products. Okay, so I have one lip. I have palettes. I don't have any singles. I have palettes and I have face products. So we are, I'm just really excited. Let's start with the lip since it's the only uh, item. Um, because I was looking into, at my lip glosses when I was going through like my favorite things. And I don't really have like gold lip gloss. I have some with a little bit of gold and shimmer in it. Um, but nothing that's like, alright, this is a favorite. But this is something that I only pull out on special occasions. Like only pull out when I'm looking for a certain look. And it executes it every time. Oh god, I don't even know if it's still available. I'm so sorry for the things that aren't available. But I still list them. And this is the Too Faced Liquefied Gold Lip Gloss. Melted Gold. This was like a limit. I think it was limited edition. But I remember seeing it on their website within like this year. And um, this is called Pure Gold. That's the shade. Pure Gold. And this is an opaque gold gloss. I can't really. Look at it. Look at it. I mean. I'm wearing it today with a brown lip liner underneath. Um, gold lip? When would you need a gold lip? Wearing it like this, though, makes it wearable, right? I know, full on gold lip, you're like, I don't know, but it might come in handy that day you're looking for something. But, <sighs> put it with a brown lip liner, that's what you got, baby, and it is everything. Everything. I'm just really, I'm just really excited about, about gold. I really am. All right, so that's my lip. <laughs> that is my lip product, okay? Um, all right, my hand getting ready, getting ready. So let's go on to the face products. Let's do the face products. If you could guess, they're all highlighters, except one. They're all highlighters. Um, so... Where do I begin? Let's begin with this one. This is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in You Light Up My Life. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, with my highlighters, I don't like glitter in my highlighters, so you're not going to see glitter in this video. Um, but these are all, like, giving off that color without, like, that sparkle of, like, glitter. You understand what I'm saying? So this is uh, you, light my, you Light Up My Life. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm assuming this is baked. I don't know. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to name them. I'm just gonna name them <laughs> and swatch because I can only say I love it it's gold over and over again so that's you light up my life right there beautiful beautiful okay the next one I have um, is a loose highlighter this is the NYX born to glow illuminating powder and this is in the shade ultra light beam this is what it looks like I love this because this go I always call this old gold it definitely has some olive under it here I'll show you in the container it definitely has like some olive under it almost like green if it hits the light and I just love it so let me swatch this for you there's you see that it's almost bronzy here my hand is dry as hell, y'all. I mean, cracking dry. Yes, I have my hand cream. Yes, I have my ultra, ultra, extremely dry skin lotion. I just didn't put it on, but my hands are terrible. Okay, so loose highlighter. That's probably my favorite loose highlighter. Um, again, that's ultra light beam. All right, then the next one, this is from Kiss. This is their Pro Touch Glow and Bronze Powder. For face and body, and this is the one in deep. They have two, one medium, one deep. This is the more golden one. Now, this texture, this is one of those, like, bouncy, creamy to powder type textures. I love it. Look at this. I want to bathe in this. This is so opaque. This is so, You're never going to run out of it. Look at it. 
Look at that. That might people might think that's a copper or bronze. I'm gonna slip some of those in here, by the way, because I do not have a, a um, copper or bronze episode coming. Spoiler alert. I don't. So I'm gonna throw that in there because it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely a copper, but we gonna we gonna we gonna bend the rules a little bit. Gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. All right, the next one I have is from Rude Cosmetics, okay? And this is their baked highlighter, and this is called Queen's Glow. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> Look. Oh, God. This is more in the rose gold family. Again, we sneak it in. And this one's not as shiny. This one gives me more of like a glow from within, and I appreciate it um, for that reason. I know. I love gold. I love gold. All right. This next one is a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in the shade Topaz. So it's a Topaz, but it's going in here. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors definitely give me a glow from within as well. They're the most finely milled uh, hi highlighters that I own. I know you like Candace, these ain't even gold no more. That's okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and then my favorite highlighter of all time, I'm wearing it today. I, again, I could bathe in this one, drench it everywhere. This is Max Shimmery, uh, Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. Look at the dimension in there. Look at it. I'm wearing it on my face today. Swatch it up. Swatch it up. Swatch and dot. Look at it. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, Again, I love the way a golden... Uh, highlight looks on anyone but really it really I feel like shines bright on brown skin I really do love I love the look of it no matter how deep or rich your skin is it works gold can work um so the last let me wipe these off because I will make a mess the last face product that I have before we get into palettes which I'm really excited about um um I have now let me just do this product first okay so, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. First of all, I love Fix Plus in gold light. So, what this is, is a setting, uh, setting mist. That's what I use Fix Plus for. Um, and it has very fine... Let me see that golden, shimmery goodness? I set my face with that, and it, when it hits the light, it just gives that, just gives that extra golden, extra golden glow. I definitely recommend it. They have a bronze one. They have a bronze light, which I own. They have a pink light one as well. I don't own that one. Um, but, yes, I definitely recommend Beautiful. You can spray this on your face, your body. It's not super, it's not super obvious. It's not super, you know, it's not sparkly. It's not glittery. It's just that reflect of the light gives you that golden reflect. And it's beautiful. So, I definitely recommend the Fix Plus Gold Light. Now, on to the palettes. So I don't have any singles uh, in he in this category because while I'm sure there's some singles that I like, nothing really. Again, looking through this collection, it's about the really good, like my really my really good favorites. So that's why there's no singles. Shockingly. All right, but we have palettes, and I'm pretty sure all of these palettes are still on the market. And um, it's crazy because. One, two, it's five, I have five palettes here, and four out of the five have gold or something in the name. So that makes it just really easy. All right. So the first one that doesn't have the gold or gilded in the name is the Warrior Palette, palette by Juvia's Place, okay? This palette is giving you um, warm, golden, metallic. It has one, two, three, four, five, six out of the nine shades in here are metallic. All right, you have two, I guess, true golds, if you will. I'm wearing some of these shades today on my eyes. Um, and Juvia's Place palettes, 
been talking about in this whole series. Wonderful, brightly pigmented. Right now, I think a lot of their palettes are like 50% off. And this palette is not, it's like $14 full price anyway. Um, so definitely check it out. Beautiful, creamy, large pans. You're never going to run out again. This is one of those palettes that's, that's dark skin friendly brown skin friendly and it just works okay it just works and you have a little golden goodness not too overwhelming um but it definitely if you want that that nubian vibe there you go all right uh the next palette i have is from bh cosmetics this is the glam Refel uh, glam reflection gilded 15 color eyeshadow palette um they have a couple of these this one is probably the most no not the most next to the most subtle in terms of gold you really have one true gold in here but i recommend this palette because it's definitely complementary to that gold theme um these shades around um you have a nice warm i like this mustard shade here um you have a, the gold is gorgeous that's in there it's a yellow gold it's a yellow gold some people don't like a super yellow gold i don't mind it i love gold in all flavors by the way um but you definitely have some other metallics that complement that gold so the look that i have today i have actually three different golds going on here um and this is kind of one of those palettes where you can get that same look of with it um you have a really light champagne gold and then you i mean a deeper I guess you have a couple uh but I just love the neutrals in here I love again that there's not like a stark white this is definitely a brown skin friendly uh palette and so I do recommend this one this one's like $15 if that um on the BH Cosmetics website I know it's not like a bunch of golds but I definitely recommend if you're getting into that golden metallic-y kind of style of eye I recommend it um the next palette, again, this one has more golds in it. This is still more of like you baby stepping into the gold situation. Um, but this will give you all you need. This is the Profusion palette in Gold Rush. And I'm missing a brush out of this palette. I never take my brushes out of the palette, so that's going to bother me. I don't know where it is. All right, this is the Profusion palette in Gold Rush, okay? So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21 shades. These are 21 shades palettes. You have beautiful neutrals here. You have one, two, three, four different, I would say, true golds. Then you have some other satin and metallic type of shades. You get a pressed glitter in here. It's a gold um, called Goddess. You get a kind of like one of those crushed textured shadows as well. Um, and then again, you get true good neutrals, good deep neutral, brown skin friendly neutrals. And you get some yellows in here. Yellow always complements gold very well. Um, you get three different yellows in here, which I appreciate. This palette is $10. You can find it at Walmart for like $9.97. And it's on the Perfusion website. $10. Bucks. $10. Bucks. Absolutely beautiful. I definitely recommend that bad boy. All right. And then the last two palettes. The first one I have here. This... This is so nostalgic for, nostalgic for me. Um, I don't know if you still can find it, but I cannot not talk about gold. I can't talk about gold without talking about this palette. And it is the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette. Lorac Unzipped Palette. She has two of them. The Unzipped, Unzipped Gold. The Unzipped is more rose gold. And then this is the gold, which I still think is leaning towards rose gold, but we're putting it in there. Um, look, this palette... It's simple enough, 10 shades, but you get one, two, three, four, five metallic y, uh, bright, reflective shades. You get four deeper shades, um, and you get this little pink that I never use, but this shade right here, you can tell, is my favorite. Unleashed. Unleashed and Unlimited are absolutely beautiful. Lorac's formula, this is not considered a pro palette, but this formula is still absolutely amazing. If you can get your hands on this palette, I think it's still on our website. If you can get your hands on this palette, get your hands on this palette. Get your hands on this palette. Absolutely wonderful. You can smoke it out, make it a little bit smoky. Um, you can just keep the gold, do the lid, do a light, whatever. I just, I had to mention it because it's like, it was a holy girl palette for a very long time, along with the regular unzipped. Gotta talk about it. Had to talk about it. Um, and then the final palette, which I just really, really enjoy, really enjoy. Well, I enjoy all of these. Is the ColourPop Good As Gold palette i mean it's in the name it's in the name <sighs> you get one two three four Ugh, that's a more of a rose gold but we're gonna count it five different golds in here beautiful complementary shades you get um 
these are like the super sock shadow formula i think or the press pigment formula i don't know but they're textured um you get a couple neutrals or deep neutrals you have a yellow you have a peach shade and then you have a black to really smoke it out and then you have a darker like charcoal uh metallic shade to do this is a party palette right here this is an evening glam palette right here i highly recommend it um i absolutely love this palette probably one of my favorites um yes please is my ultimate favorite color pop palette but this is definitely up there i love gold and i snatched this up as soon as i saw it i definitely recommend this palette i look i've been digging at them um yes yeah, so there's not much else to say not much else to say that's the palette those are my gold recommendations. Now, I have some gold um, glitters that I could recommend, um, but we're saving that for another video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!